healthy world stuff. But in this video, I got a new package here. All right, here we go. Take a look. Got a brake band here. Troublesome truck, the black one. I have a second Edward. Oh no, but his wheels are broken. Hmm. I'll figure what to do with this. I may make some parts out of it. These, this looks in good condition. They may work. Um, Gordon. This is the Tommy Gordon. This is this is the second one now I owned. Oh, and it's super corroded. Ew. Yeah, you can tell the seller was not, did not do good with this train. Um, Talking Action Percy. This is the um, British one. Finally, I, I finally replaced it. This looks in good condition, but there's a crack gear just by looking at it and the wheels, ew. So I'll make a video on me fixing this. And, yeah. See, crack gear, even though I didn't even look at the wheels, I just, I can just tell, okay, because every talking action like this most likely has a crack gear. And there's something smudge right there. I don't know. Um, James here. I actually have a, I actually made a battery cover for this guy. I 3D printed a battery cover, so I can just put this in. So yeah, I made a 3D printed uh, battery cover, so yeah. I can't make one for Edward just because it just doesn't work like that. Thomas with broken wheel. It has a crack gear. It looks possible I can fix this. I have a, a Ben. There's a Ben. Or my name. <laughs> this coupler. I don't know what the seller did here. Oh, step me here. The gear doesn't sound. It doesn't sound really good. There's a battery in here already. And terminals. Yeah, definitely. Gonna have to clean this out. Uh, yeah, this wheel, I'm gonna have to replace it. I don't like it, it's corroded. All right, Stepney. Uh, salty, I have like three of these now. All right, so good news for this Henry is I have a tender, especially for him. I already planned it out, so I knew he was gonna come in the mail. So I made it, I got a Henry's tender. He's in, it's in the spare parts bin right now, but I'll make a repair video on this too. Um, you can tell. Look how much they bend this out. And the wheel's not even in the right position. They put the front wheel there and the middle wheel there. You know. A diesel here. Looks in good condition except for the corroded battery terminals. I think I can just, you know, get rid of the corrosion by cleaning it. It doesn't look that strong. Actually, it does look because uh, there's some corrosion in there. Motor looks good. Traction tires need to be replaced. And the switch needs to be cleaned too. Overall, it's not bad. So yeah, I think this is already. Oh wait, the heck? Why is this switch? Okay. There we go. That fits right. Express coach, which is good. This can go with the Gordon. Maybe that's why there's a Gordon because it has the express coach. Henrietta here. Charleston truck again. Laughing van. I have three of these now. Clarabelle here. Annie here. I think this goes with the Thomas that we saw that was broken. I see some broken parts. I think that's like the wheels or something. I think this is the wheel from Edward, but unfortunately you cannot glue them together. Um, scruffy here. It's my first ever Scruffy. It has a broken buffer. Overall, pretty good condition. A little dusty and dirty. And this soda fuel tanker, which I believe it goes to this Top and Ashen Percy because that's the only thing, okay? See, I think that's it. So yeah, I make a video on me fixing this because I don't wanna, I don't wanna fix it myself without you guys seeing it. Because maybe it's cool if you guys see it, you know. And Toby here has a good gear. A very this looks doable. That this thing already works. Just has a little, little bang on the motor to wake it up. But yeah, overall this lot, it's a pretty good lot. Um, paid like sixty dollars, I think like that. Four dollars for shipment, hundred dollars total. But here are the engines, uh, Toby, which you can tell right here, rolling stock, some rolling stocks here. I've also 3D printed something else. I've 3D printed this track here, if you guys want a little more news. So yeah, if you guys don't know, I have a 3D printer now, so I can pretty much make anything. Um, but I cannot design, unfortunately. So if you're asking me to make a foot-based engine, I can't do that. I'm sorry, okay? 
Sorry to crush your dreams on asking me, but I just can't, all right? I can only print it out. So this is 3D printed. That coupler right there is 3D printed. And the coal cover, 3D printed. So yeah, you can tell it's 3D printed because the way it's designed, see? It's 3D printed. It has like little lines here. It feels very sharp. That's the end of this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, that's the end of this video, so goodbye, have a good day, so goodbye.